Stunning new aerials out of Southern California as rain pummels the region for a third day. We thought maybe the storm had finished yesterday, but it came out with a vengeance again this morning. The storm knocking down this towering tree in the affluent Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles. Its base ripped out of the ground. And near Beverly Hills, a mudslide carving its own path down a steep canyon. Here you can see the sheer force of this mudslide. This house used to be sitting up on the foundation. It's sliding all the way down, burying this car over here. There's another car underneath the rubble, and miraculously, all the residents got out safely. With more than 300 mudslides, residents are on high alert. As Mayor Bass and I have surveyed some of the worst slides yesterday, I was reminded of the pure force and magnitude with which a hillside can suddenly come down. The National Weather Service calling this a historic storm, the third wettest two-day stretch since records started in the 1870s. This is the LA River. If you're not familiar with this, normally it's a trickle. You can see just how strong that water is moving right now. Those white caps, those rapids. And keep in mind, it only takes six inches of water to knock somebody off of their feet. And first responders saving a man who jumped into the swift moving waters to rescue his dog. Firefighters pulled him into a helicopter. His dog was found alive downstream. In Northern California, winds were the worry. Three people killed by falling trees, and this woman narrowly avoiding disaster after a tree slammed into the roof of her car. Ow! And officials are increasingly concerned about additional mudslides, which can happen even after the storm passes. There is another storm moving through California tomorrow. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles.